In this episode of Cases in Radiology, we're going to take a look at an intermediate difficulty trauma CT of the abdomen. Here we have a 40-year-old male involved in a high-speed car accident. As always, you can pause this video and take a look at the case for yourself in Radiopedia quiz mode before returning to this discussion. You can follow the link which is either on your screen or available in the video description. If you were to look at this case quickly and without a high degree of suspicion for injury, you may be tempted to read it as normal, but there are several important findings that together imply a serious injury. Starting from the top, we first notice this small volume of free fluid adjacent to the lower margin of the liver, an indication that there is almost certainly going to be an intra-abdominal injury in this man. Next, we notice quite prominent seatbelt bruising in the subcutaneous tissues of the lower abdomen. This tells us two important things. One, this man has definitely been involved in a high-force accident, and two, that we need to look hard for a seatbelt-related internal injury. As we continue down, we notice a further small volume of free fluid in the pelvis to go with the fluid we already detected near the liver. Less obvious on initial inspection, however, is this small volume of free fluid interposed between small bowel loops. In the absence of a large volume of intraperitoneal fluid, fluid between bowel loops is highly suggestive of bowel or mesenteric pathology. Also, we can see that the mesenteric vessels leading to these small bowel loops are congested, further indication that this area has been traumatised. Slightly ill-defined fluid is also seen adjacent to the large bowel, near the junction of the descending colon and the sigmoid, with this fluid being of increased density, suggesting recent haemorrhage. We now need to search hard for any free gas that would indicate bowel perforation. Unlike fluid which tracks dependently, air moves antidependently. Spotting tiny amounts of black gas within a background of relatively black intra-abdominal fat can be difficult, but switching to lung windows can make the gas far more readily appreciable, as we see here. Having identified even a few locules of free gas, we can now confidently report a traumatic bowel perforation in this man, most likely of a small bowel loop in the lower abdomen, or less likely at the junction of the descending colon and sigmoid. Based on these findings, and the absence of any appreciable solid organ injury, this man was taken to the operating room where a small bowel perforation was confirmed and treated. This case has several important take-home messages. Identifying even a trace of free fluid in a trauma patient should raise the suspicion of an internal injury. Don't just look within the abdomen, look around it. Subcutaneous bruising can be a strong indicator as to the degree and location of trauma. Seatbelts save lives, and almost certainly save this man's life, but related bowel injuries can occur and may be subtle. Finding free fluid interposed between bowel loops is highly suggestive of a bowel or mesenteric injury. Confirming bowel perforation by finding a few locules of free gas can clinch the need for an emergency laparotomy. Using lung windows helps make the gas stand out against the background intra-abdominal fat. 